Hi everyone, welcome back to Literary Readers. So today, I am going to give you a lecture on the most prominent figure of the Augustan era, a writer, a poet and a critic, Alexander Pope. So in this video, I am going to talk about the uh, some important facts about Alexander Pope, his important works and at last, I am also going to share uh, some important questions that were asked in UGC NET examination. So let's proceed. Now here I have some important facts about Alexander Pope. Alexander Pope was the member of the well-known club, Scriblerius Club. Now what was the Scriblerius Club? This uh, club was a, an association or an informal gathering of the well-established uh, writers of the Augustan era such as Jonathan Swift, Pope, John Gay, John Albert Nott, Henry St. John and Thomas Parnell. Next, Lord Byron uh, praised Alexander Pope and the writer John Dryden. In the work English Baths and Scotch Reviewers, Lord Byron talks about the use of heroic couplet that Alexander Pope used in his work Dunciad. And he also attacked some writers in the work English Baths and Scotch Reviewers like Wordsworth, Coleridge and Francis Jeffrey. Next we have some important works by Pope. First one is Odd on Solitude published in the year 1700. Now Pope wrote this work when he was only 12 years old. The next one is Pastorals, a pastoral poem published in the year 1709. And next we have the important work by Pope an essay on criticism published in the year 1711. It is a three-part poem. In this uh, poem, Pope uh, shares his thought on the proper rules and etiquettes for critics. In this poem, uh, Alexander Pope talks about what are the qualities of a good critic, what are the um, qualities of a bad critic, why bad criticism is harmful, and how to critic. So as a essay on man deals with Pope's argument in poetic form about the qualities of writers and critics both as they are in his time and as he believes they should ideally be. Next he mentions classical reference references that are used as examples. He talks about the writers Aristotle, Horace, Longinus, Dionysius and Contillion. Here I have also written some important qu uh, quotes that can be useful for your examination. A little learning is a dangerous thing. Fools rush in where angels fear to tread. The sound must seem an echo to the sense. To err is human, to forgive divine. The next one is the most celebrated work by Alexander Pope, The Rape of the Log. It is a mock heroic narrative poem that came into three editions. The first one uh, came in 1712 in two cantos, then 1714 in five cantos and the third edition came in 1717 in five cantos with the speech by Clarissa. The next one is Windsor Forest. Now Pope wrote this work at two uh, very different periods in his life. The first part he wrote in 1704 the second in 1712. The work was uh, published in the year 1713. Windsor Forest is a topographical poem that reflects British history and politics within its four two two lines. And next we have uh, Allergy to the Memory of an Unfortunate Lady published in the year 1717. Now this poem is a melancholy emotion charged poem of 82 lines involving a poet's uh, involving the poet's celebration of his lady who committed suicide because her guardian rejected their love next we have the translation of homer's iliad and odyssey the writer samuel johnson remarked the greatest translation ever achieved in english or in any other language and on the other hand, the writer Richard Bentley criticized the translation by Pope and remarked, It is a pretty poem, Mr. Pope, but you must not call it Homer. 
Now, please do remember that the first translation of Homer's Iliad and Odyssey was done by the writer George Chapman. Next, we have Dunciad. Uh, it came into three parts, 1728, then 1742, then 1743. It is a mock heroic uh, narrative poem. This poem was inspired by uh, the work MacFleckno that was written by the writer John Dryden. The Indian author Nirasti Chaudhary took the uh, took the title of his work named is Thy Hand Great, uh, Great Anak from the poem Dunciad. Then we have uh, Essay on Man. It was published uh, somewhere around 1733 to uh, 1734. It was written in four epistles. The first epistle subtitle is Of the Nature and State of Man with Respect to the Universe. So in this, uh, in this first epistle, Pope described man's place in the universal system and to vindicate the ways of God to man. The second one is subtitle is of the nature and state of man with respect to himself as an individual. In the second epistle, Pope says that man should look inwards for truth rather than outwards. The third epistle uh, subtitle is of the nature and state of man with respect to society. In this epistle, Pope discuss man's relation to family, government and religion. The fourth and last epistle, subtitle is of the nature and state of man with respect to happiness. Now in the last epistle, uh, Pope talks about the man's various attempts to achieve true human happiness. He tries to prove that virtue alone can generate such happiness. So, according to uh, Alexander Pope, happiness is the ultimate goal of human being. And he says that this happiness can only be achieved by man's virtuous behavior. And last, we have Epistle to Dr. Abudnot, published in the year 1734. It is a satire in poetic form addressed. Uh, this work was dedicated for his friend John Abudnot. This work is in seven parts. In the first part, uh, the first part deals with the description where Pope is ordering his servant to shut the door. In the second part, uh, Alexander Pope talks about the dangers of being popular. He also scolds some poets like Colley, Harley, Bishop Phillips, and Bab uh, Babius and Sappho. And the third part deals with Pope's life as a writer. In the fourth part, he criticized Ambrose Phillips, Addison, and Lord Halifax. In the fifth part, the fifth part deals with current attitudes towards life and career, in which Pope says that only liars will fear his satire. In the sixth part, he attacks Lord Harvey and compares him with Satan. And in the seventh and the last part, he wish. Uh, his friend uh, but not that he should lead a happy and peaceful life so till now we have studied about the important facts and important works by the writer alexander pop and next i have written some important questions that were asked in ugc net examination the first one is alexander pop revised the rape of the log three times in the final revision of the poem in 1717 he inserted a speech by so the answer would be Clarissa as we have already studied that in 1717 the work came in uh, five cantos with the speech by Clarissa next one is which of the following ancient critics does Alexander Pope uh, command as ex exemplary in Asian criticism this also we have studied like he mentions classical reference that are used as examples and the answer would be Aristotle, Longinus, Quintilian, Dionysus and Horace. The last one is which of these lines is not in Pope's essay on criticism. So, uh, so the one, two and fourth lines appears in the Pope's, uh, Pope's essay on criticism. So the answer would be wretches hang, uh, hang that jury men may dine. So that's all for this video lecture. I hope I was able to uh, share everything about Alexander Pope that can be useful for your examination. 
If you have any query, you can post your comments in the comment section below. Keep watching Litwari Readers. And if you really uh, like the video, then do subscribe to Litwari Readers. You can also uh, you can also follow Litwari Readers on Instagram. That's all for today. Thank you.